change their lives. I'm completely freaking deck coffee this morning. Hi, baby. Hi, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, if you're new here. Today's gonna be a week in my life. Today's Tuesday, actually. I didn't really film anything yesterday, but I just got a package in. I ordered it a couple weeks ago after seeing everyone that I follow on YouTube buy this jacket. I have to show you. It's so cute. It's called the Levi's Shacket. So it's kind of like a shirt, but jacket, and it's meant to be oversized. I got size medium, and I think it's perfect for spring and summer. Like, you can wear it over active wear, you can wear it over nicer things, but so good. A lot of people got it on Revolve, but I found a company that is from Canada, and it was actually cheaper on there, so I'll link it below if you guys want one too. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. Anyway, I need to hurry, and we're gonna go get a decaf oat milk latte because I wanted one yesterday and I didn't get finished in time before they closed, so I need to hurry and go do that. We got the decaf oat milk latte. I get this all the time, but it never fails to make me happy. And I feel like I have so much to tell you guys. Last week's video was kind of two weeks in my life, but I feel like it was small clips of each day. Like I didn't really get to chat very much. First, Matthias went on this like total health assessment and it pretty much like changed our lives. Like nothing bad was found or anything, but he learned a lot about like health and wellness and foods you should be eating. Like essentially the bottom line was eating whole foods and a lot of healthy fat and different supplements, which is what I'm into already. Obviously, if you follow me at all, you know that, but it was kind of good for him to learn it too, because he's like totally in my mindset now, which is so weird. But when you're trying to be healthy, it helps so much to have a partner that is like on that wavelength and it's not necessary because I've eaten healthy this whole time. Like he eats whatever I make, but now he's like dedicated to like he'll go to the grocery store and for supper he'll pick like two or three veggies, not just like a Caesar salad. Or he'll do red meat only once a week now, which we probably had it like two or three times a week. I don't know he just makes a lot of really good choices which is so helpful and he's really into cooking lately so I feel like my wellness and food has completely shifted we didn't go out to eat at all last week except on the weekend eating healthy takes a lot of work and like willpower and when you have two people I just feel like we're stronger together and we're like we're not even thinking about, oh, let's go to eat. And one of the things he said that the dietitian said that really stuck with him was at lunch, if you crave a lot of like fast food or at supper, it's because your body is craving the quickest and easiest way to get the most calories. So if you didn't eat enough all day, then in the evening, your, your body's trying to be like, hey, I'm starving. I want the fattiest, sugariest food because it gives me the most energy as quick as I can. And that's like our instinct kicking in, right? I don't know, that was kind of helpful because there's been nights where we've just been lazy and we're like, okay, let's just go get this because it's easy and we're hungry. but that's your mind not thinking of like the future future that's my whole spiel on that and we've been really good at taking supplements like he's helped me with that to like motivate me to do that but i just wanted to talk about that because it's been a really big part of our lives recently and you're gonna obviously be seeing that more in the videos and stuff so cheers to health as well but i've been getting decaf so i'm pretty proud about that too Gotta get a couple things. Found what I came for. Guys, they finally have my tea back. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm back from Superstore and I got such a good little grocery haul. A bunch of new stuff, which is one of my favorite hobbies, trying new products from the grocery store. So we're gonna have turkey tacos for supper tonight. So I got minced turkey. This Simply Organic taco seasoning is good. Organic baby spinach for that, as well as a bell pepper. Then these are new. Yeah, they are new. I haven't seen them before. So they're organic taco shells and there's no like salt added or um, artificial colors or trans fat. So we love that. I'll let you know what I think of those. I picked up some Neil Brothers salsa. This one, the Sweet Heat. If you haven't tried it, this is to die for. Then I grabbed a Caesar dressing from Primal Kitchen. I find salad dressings have the worst ingredients like every single one has canola oil but this one just has avocado oil the ingredients are really good and 
I love the Green Goddess one, but I thought it would be fun to try the Caesar because Matthias loves Caesar. I got Matthias some sunflower seeds because he said they're good for brain health. He learned that on a brain health seminar the other day. These were on sale two for seven, so I grabbed two. I picked up some wild pink salmon. This is really good. We had salmon melts last week, just like with cheese on English muffins, and it was an easy supper. Of course, I had to get one of my favorite ginger and turmeric shots. And finally, they had my licorice root tea. Like, it's been gone from there for months, so I'm happy. I grabbed this evolved oatmeal cookie dough chocolate filled milk chocolate bar hmm, i didn't really read it but i've seen this all over instagram like back when more like health food bloggers were in <laughs> but when i saw it i just had to try it out the ingredients are crazy good cashews coconut sugar cacao cacao butter oats and cinnamon like okay and then i picked up a deodorant i bought this a couple vlogs ago if you remember but i ended up giving it to my mom because she couldn't find it at the superstore in bridgewater so i grabbed myself one we have the turkey taco meat cooking away i chopped up and diced bell peppers and cooked them with that then here are the taco shells. They say to bake them in the oven for six minutes, so we're gonna try that and see how they are. My plating is an absolute fail. One of my shells broke, so I brought a fork because I'm definitely gonna need it. I had two tacos, I'm having another one. Those taco shells are the best taco shells we've ever tried. They're so good, you gotta try them. They weren't any more expensive than like regular taco shells. They're kind of like melt in your mouth, and when you bake them in the oven and they're kind of warm, I feel like that's why. That adds to the goodness, but they're so good. Okay, I'm just doing some computer work. It's like 8.30. This feels so surreal, but I'm literally getting to work with one of my dream brands. Essentially, they're like boosting one of my TikToks that I had already made, but I have to like show you the name. Guys, like... <laughs> I'm completely freaking out because they're literally probably one of my number one favorite skincare brands. What the heck? Good morning. We're having a deck coffee this morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm so out of breath. So I went to Winners to get something for my mom. They didn't have it, but I found a mirror that I've been looking for for the past few months. And I've been looking online, but they're super expensive. But it was super heavy and I was carrying it the whole time, like out of the store and a man came and helped me. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to like put it in, but I'm really excited about it. Okay, back home and I'm gonna make some supper. This does not look appetizing and if you don't like canned fish and stuff you won't like this but if you do this is a really good kind of supper idea we've been getting the wild pink salmon in the can and then i just add a little bit of mayo to it and i'm going to put it on english muffin with cheese and then you just bake it in the oven so it's like a salmon melt instead of a tuna melt and then i think i'm going to cut up some broccoli to have on the side and this is just like an easy but still pretty healthy supper here's the final product there's the steamed broccoli and i put a little butter and salt on and there's a little salmon melt hey guys it is friday no it's thursday today but it feels like friday because it's a holiday we have a four-day weekend i'm so excited we're going down to lunenburg tomorrow it's lunch time it was also launch day so we launched our pottery new pottery vessels i'll link it below but i'm pretty sure they're going to be sold out we had a really limited quantity i'm having a little treat yourself lunch sushi of course I'm sitting at Alderney Landing. It's a pretty nice day today. It's not super hot, but it's not raining and cold either. So I will take it. I have a couple of errands to do after I eat. We're gonna go to Levi's and return the jeans that I got for Matthias in the last video because they were horrible. They like just didn't fit at all. I just need to get a different size. So I'm hoping they have something that'll work for him. So it'd be nice if he had a new pair of jeans for this weekend because he literally has two pairs. Levi's are exchanged. And I just have to give a shout out to the staff at Le the Levi's Outlet in Dartmouth Crossing. They are awesome. They're so helpful. I last time I went in and this time, they just like help me find exactly what I need and like I tell them the issues with them and they just like hook me up. And now I'm gonna stop at HomeSense to double check they didn't put out more like arch mirrors because if they did have a black one, I would exchange the gold one since I'm gonna paint the gold one black anyway. So I'm gonna check there and then go home and get a bunch of stuff done, cleaning. Time to find out if I need glasses or not. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm back from my eye test. I'm eating these wa watermelon smart sweets. 
the eye test went worse than I even expected, guys. I have astigmatism in both eyes. What the heck? How am I even living? She made it seem really bad, but then I was talking to my family and the girl at the front, and she was like, oh, it's really mild. But the optometrist like made me feel like it was really bad. And I, when she told me, I was literally like, this is horrible news. And she just didn't even say anything. Like, tiny glasses. If you have recommendations for your favorite place to get online glasses, let me know. Or in person, but sad times. One of our new things has been having tea in the evening. I put one bag of caffeinated, just uh, red rose tea, and then one bag decaf, and then we just put normal milk, and I feel like it's just such a nourishing little habit. Okay, the mirror is in, what do we think? Give me your full opinion. So, originally I was looking for one that was a little bit skinnier with a black trim, but I think I'm gonna paint that one black but I'll give you a better view. I think it looks cute, what do you guys think? I am going to absolutely love having a mirror here though because I always, whenever I like put my shoes on for my outfit, I have to go upstairs, but now I can like put them on and look in this mirror, so. It's around nine o'clock now and I've just been cleaning. I've been doing my Thursday night cleaning and last week I made a TikTok about how I'm trying to instead of cleaning on Sunday and using my almost full Sunday for cleaning, that I'm going to try to switch it to an evening through the week. So last week I did Friday, which was really good. I kind of cleaned most of the house. I vacuumed and tidied almost the whole house in three hours and then I like cleaned the bathroom and did laundry as well, which took another couple hours. So I finished most of the cleaning on that Friday. And then on Sunday, I went ahead and did our sheets and a quick like vacuum again of the downstairs because we had people over on Saturday and there's just more traffic downstairs. So I needed to do a little tidy. So I did that and it felt so good to not have to spend most of my Sunday cleaning. So if you're feeling that same way, maybe try doing like Friday or a lot of people recommended to do it Thursday. So that's what I'm trying this week. And even though it's kind of like a Friday today. Good morning. I'm just about to have some eggs. I put some cheese in there too. I already had a smoothie, but I was still like craving something more. So I made these. Do you see how yellow they are? A guy at my brother's work has chickens, so he sells eggs, so I got some from him. They taste so much better than the grocery store ones, like, big difference. But we had no ketchup left, and you guys know I'm a ketchup on egg kind of gal. So I had to go to my car and get leftover and I'll be ketchup. So we're putting that on. I made my coffee, and I'm just going to fold some laundry from yesterday and watch YouTube and relax. It's only about 9 a.m. I swear I can't sleep in. Like I woke up at seven, my normal time, but I'm kind of okay with that. Like I'm not tired when I wake up because I go to bed pretty early and it just means I can get more done and like have more of the day off to enjoy, you know? Oh my, oh my gosh! <laughs> It's a squeaky toy. In the back. Say hi. Say hi, little oh, ball. He's going to eat that ear. He's like, oh, this is Seamus. Pull it right out and bite your ear and you'll squeak it. I like my sister. She's nice. I don't sweat. Hi, baby. Oh, hey, can we take this back? He's coming. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He likes the camera. Hi. Say hi. Aww. What's that one? Stroke waffle. Gluten free stroke waffle. So casually. So cute. So thin. We're 
out for a walk. It's so pretty. Hey guys, it's Saturday today. Long weekend Saturday. And we came down to the South Shore. I think I talked about that, but we're staying at my brother-in-law's place and his girlfriend's um, for two nights. So we stayed last night and then we're staying again tonight. We went on a nice walk with Ty in the woods. I love it here because we can go in the woods and it's not stressful taking Ty. It's a little stressful in the city just because it's loud and there's lots of dogs and he just doesn't really, well, he's okay now. He used to be way worse with other dogs, but it's just, I don't know. I feel stressed so it's a lot nicer to go in the woods anyway i'm headed to my mom's now she just lives down the road and i'm gonna have lunch and we're gonna visit with seamus and show you guys more of him because he's the cutest little angel <laughs> okay you guys need to officially meet seamus i'm babysitting one of my mom in the shower look say hi to the vlog he likes my hair my earrings and my jacket He's crazy though. You're hyper. You don't eat my things. Don't chew my things, okay? Wrong. No biting. But look at his eyes. Ow! 